Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to interface stepper motor with 8050 microcontroller. But before that, we shall learn what is a stepper motor, what are its types and how, the, how does it work. So a stepper motor is a brushless DC motor which can be rotated in small angles. These angles are called steps. Generally stepper motor use 200 steps to complete 360 degrees rotation. Means it rotates 1.8 degrees per step. We can rotate stepper motor to any particular angle by giving it proper instructions. Stepper motors are basically two types, unipolar and bipolar. Unipolar stepper motor generally has five or six wires in which four wires are one end of four stator coils and the other end of all the four coils is tied together which represents fifth wire. This is called common wire. Generally there are two common wires formed by connecting one end of the two two coils. Unipolar stepper motor is very common and popular because of its ease of, ease of use. In bipolar stepper motor there is just four wires coming out from two sets of coils means there are no common wire. Stepper motor is made up of stator and rotor. Stator represents the four magnetic coils which remain stationary around the rotor. This is the rotor and these are the stator coils. And rotor represents permanent magnet which rotates. Whenever the coil energize, energized by applying the current, the electromagnetic field is created, resulting in the rotation of rotor. Coils should be energized in a particular sequence to make the rotor rotate. On the basis of this sequence, we can divide the working method of unipolar stepper motor in three modes. The first one is wave drive mode, the second one is full step drive mode and the third one is half step drive mode. Now before actually getting into all the three modes, we shall start understanding the circuit diagram. Later with the code explanation, I will make you understand these three modes also. So the circuit diagram consists of 889C51 microcontroller, a crystal oscillator of 11.0592 MHz, two capacitors of 22 microfarad and another two resistors of 10K ohms and a capacitor of 10 microfarad, a push button for resetting the microcontroller, a ULN2003A which is a current driver's IC and a DC stepper motor. I will tell you why we have this current driver IC. It's because 8051 doesn't provide enough current to drive the coils. The IC is an array of 7 NPN Darlington, Darlington transistor pins, transistor pairs. Darlington pair is constructed by connecting two bipolar transistors to achieve high current amplification. In ULN2003A, seven pins are input pins. You can see seven pins are input pins and seven pins are output pins. Two pins, uh, two pins are for VCC and ground. Here we are using four, p four input and four output pins so the four input connections i have given to the port p2 of of the a 5 microcontroller and the four output connections are given to the stepper motor so this was all about understanding the circuit diagram now we shall get down to the code as i said i will explain all the three modes of sequence of rotation of stepper motor. I have written three different codes. You can see three different codes I have written just to make sure you clear with each mode. So the first one, so the first one is wave drive mode. In this mode, one coil is gen one coil is energized at a time. All four coils are energized one after another. It produces less torque in compare with uh, full step drive mode but power consumption is less for producing this mode using microcontroller 
we need to give logic 1 to the calls in the sequential manner. In step 1 of rotation, the coil A is, I will take the P2.3 as uh, coil, the 4B as coil A, I will take the 3B, 3B pin, I will take, the, take it as coil B and the third one I will take it as coil C and the fourth one I will take it as coil D. So, in the first step of rotation, the coil A is given logic 1 and the rest of the coils B, C, D are given logic 0. So, it becomes 1, 0, 0 which becomes 8 in hexadecimal form. So, I will give I will give P2 as 8 as hexadecimal then keeping some delay so uh, similarly in step 2 of rotation of motor coil B is generated coil, coil B is energized and it is given 1 logic 1 so this becomes the binary equivalent of 0 1 0 0 so in hexadecimal form it becomes Four. Hence, I will give four to port port two. So, in step three, similarly, P two port will be given as two as a result of energizing the coil C. Then, in the at the last uh, step four, P two point P two port will be given as one as a result of energizing the coil D. So, I am assuming that you already know about the header files used delay function main function and while loop so i will die so i directly moved on to the logic of code so now i will show you the demonstration of wave drive mode of this mode by creating the hex file so the hex file i'm naming it as stepper stepper dot hex importing the hex file I will import the hex file uh, to 8051 of Proteus clicking the OK button. As you can see, I will start. I will start the simulation. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just a minute. I will add the code uh, code of stepper wave dot C. Building target. It's done, and the hex file is created. So I will start the simulation now. Yes, you can see individually all the coils are getting energized with the delay of 1300 milli 1375 milliseconds and this is continuous since we have used while loop here so you can see all the calls individually getting energized so coming to code 2 code 2 is uh, full drive mode stepper full dot c i have written so in this mode two coils are gen energized at the same time producing high torque power consumption is higher in the in the first step of rotation coils coils a and b will be energized they will be given as logic 1 and the other two are uh, as logic 0 thus the binary equivalent becomes 1100 which is c in hex form thus giving C in hexadecimal form to port 2. Similarly in step 2, calls B and C are given logic 1 and the other two are kept as 0, thus the binary equivalent becomes 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, you can see, which is 6 in hexadecimal form and thus passing the same to, passing the same to port 2. And hence, in step 3, port 2 will be given as 3 as a result of energizing the coils C and D. Uh, and in step 4, P2 port will be given as 
nine as a result of energizing coils A and D. Now we shall see the demonstration of this mode by creating hex file. So I will remove this file and I will add the stepper full dot C. Yes, then building the target. It's done. Hex file is the same. Separate dot hex. Then importing the hex file. Separate dot hex. Then clicking the OK button. I will start the simulation. You can see two coils simultaneously are getting energized with the delay of 1375 milliseconds. You can keep the delay as you wish, how much ever you want. Now coming to the third one. Third one is just a second. Yes, step a half dot C. This is the third one. Now coming to the third one, which is ha half drive mode. In this will in this mode, a one and two coils are energized alternatively. Means firstly one coil is energized then two coils are gen energized then again one coil is gen energized then again two and so on it goes on this uh, this is the combination of uh, full end wave drive mode and and used to increase the angular rotation of the motor in first step of rotation only coil a is energized i will energize only coil a so the hex file the hex form of this becomes 8 so I will pass 8 to port 2 so in second step keeping coil A as energized coil B is energized so C it will become 1100 which is C in hex form so I will pass C to port 2 and this goes by and this goes on now again we shall go with this demonstration of this mode by creating the hex file so i will remove it again remove it and i will add the step a half dot c yes i have added and i will build the target it's done step a dot hex is the same file is the same hex file importing again ok starting the simulation yeah you can see that each coil is uh, each each type of uh, drive e drive mode is applied here both the drive modes are combined here you can see and this has increased the angular rotation of the motor so that's all how we do the interfacing the stepper motor and thank you everyone for listening the video for watching the video thank you so much